to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. Look, it's Ebro in the Morning. You got the beautiful Laura Styles. Laura Styles is on today. Rosenberg had an assignment. He had to run handle. Uh, but today I want to introduce you guys to two amazing individuals working on a project that's near and dear to my heart. I got put on to it. Uh, what I know of it is it is called the Underground Railroad Ride. Is that right, Bobby? Yes, sir. Um, yeah. What's your last name, Bobby? Shackleford. Uh, and Fizz is also, and you're the director, right, Fizz? Yeah, right. That's right. I'm the director of the documentary film that we're filming with Bobby. So um, the Underground Railroad Ride, Bobby, started how? T- tell us the backstory. Uh, the, it started from me uh, just doing long distance rides. Like I bike to Niagara Falls, bike to a few trips in Europe. You know, just me just going from city to city or state to state. And me trying to do another trip, but looking to get inspired by video. So what about I would do before these trips is go on YouTube or go on the internet and look for videos that would inspire me to push myself mentally to keep going, whatever situation that I go through on these long journeys. So I decided that like, damn, there's like no black people in none of these videos. So I couldn't really relate on like a, to myself. So I would just click in my head. I'm like, wow, maybe I need to do something. And, f- and for the audience, we're talking about cycling. We're not talking about yeah, motorcycles. Right, right. We're talking yeah. about cycling. So. I talk about it on the air a lot. You know, I've been cycling. I used to ride single speed through the city a lot and do put in some miles on single speed. Never got to fix it because my knees is bad and I didn't want to put all that on there. (laughs) Um, But I ride a road bike and I love to ride. I I only have time to ride like twice a week. I usually hit the 9W up near the Palisades and do that run through there. Um, And me and some buddies push pretty hard, but nothing like what you're doing, Bobby. Um, so so uh, a guy I ride with uh, told us about what you shout to Mike Packer told us about this documentary you guys were putting together to showcase uh, not only cycling, not only learn about the route of the Underground Railroad, but showcase black cyclists. Um, because yeah. not only are not only is it a growing uh, kind of community, but with everyone dealing with health issues, heart issues and trying to find new ways to stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Cycling is one of those things that can definitely push you in a low impact way um, to be healthier. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's amazing what the guys are doing. So it's Bobby and then there's like four other uh, like his cyclist friends that are doing this. And so in terms of the documentary film, you know, we're going to be seeing like a cross section of just like, um, you know, the trials and tribulations of this ride. We're doing this over like 21 days, 21 days yeah. going through like some crazy areas that we've never been to before, like off road. Um, you know, there's going to be laughs, there's going to be jokes, it's going to be hard times. There's going to be people having to motivate each other, right. but like, the end goal is like so rich and powerful. Like they want to show people that look like them, that they can, you you guys can do this too. And you can make a career out of cycling. I mean, these guys are crazy talented, like insanely talented. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So we've got like on our website, on the Instagram, the routes that we're, you know, going, we're going from Alabama to Georgia to North Carolina, and then we end up in DC. Um, and so, who, so okay. go ahead, Laura. No, so are you guys opening this up to the public? Can the public ride with you guys as, as you know, as you guys are yeah, pushing Yeah, the absolutely. We want them to come out and follow us. Like, go on our Instagram and you'll be able to see the route that we're taking. Um, so the Instagram is Underground Railroad Ride. And, um, yeah, like, we want as much support as possible. We're going to need it. These guys are going to yeah. need They're riding, like, over a 1,000 miles. Right. So it's 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 a but lot. Definitely within the COVID rules. Though, yes. In terms of absolutely. People riding, because absolutely. The crew, crew is trying to take that super serious. Yeah. And uh, so if you show up on the Underground Railroad ride, which starts, it starts in Alabama, correct? Starts in Alabama on Friday. Yeah. Right. But we actually set off on, on Friday. So we're going to be in Selma, Montgomery. Um, West Point, uh, Athens, White Plains. It ends up in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. And so, so from from Montgomery to Atlanta between Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Exactly. No, or, then, or is it Friday? Say it again. It's this Thursday or it starts next Monday. Starts, it starts this, week. this week. Yeah, we starts start Friday. Friday. 
Friday. Okay, my fault. Oh, so you start you. Friday in Montgomery, Alabama, and you head towards Atlanta. No, we start Friday in Mobile, Alabama. And Mobile. we're going to get to Atlanta until Thursday, October 1st. Got it. So you're going to be doing all the small towns in between there. Yeah. That's right. That's tight. Yeah. Now, do you guys take you guys take breaks? I'm assuming. Oh, definitely take breaks. Breaks, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's okay. gonna be some okay. rain too. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a lot break, of rain. Yeah. Um, I mean, but we're breaks. only breaking for like lunch and and breakfast, and we're gonna be camping. Yeah, a lot of first know. time campers here, so yeah. they're not really used to that. <laughs> and Let's so, go. and so, people understand. Um, on a day, let's just take one day. So. I know some people who probably put in 100 miles a day on a bike um, mm. because they have time. Um, mm. Bobby, I'm assuming you've done much more than 100 miles in a day. But normally right. people try, even in the Tour de France, I think they they probably they do like a buck 20 a day. A buck 20, right. Yeah. So um, is that what you're going to try to do here is 100 miles a day or is it going to be smaller chunks? So we're, we're, we're doing a lot of smaller chunks because we have a lot of interviews to do along the way. So we've mixed, we, I don't think, our biggest day is at 99 miles, I believe. And that's the day two. So every day after that is like 75 to 80, I believe. Got it. And then it's rest, you right. know, food. Rest, you sleep, eat, and then wake up early, do it again. Yeah, but we're riding like almost every day. Pretty much, almost pretty much every day. Yeah, if we're not riding, then we're like going we're to meeting. like yeah, we're into yeah, we're meeting with people. We're meeting with like kids. We're doing a bike giveaway. So every day is like jam packed. Yeah. yeah. So uh, follow them on Instagram, Underground Railroad Ride. They're filming this documentary. Uh, it's around the commu- growing community around Black cyclists. Now, Bobby, why did you pick the Underground Railroad route uh, to tie this in? I picked the route because there was a previous route that cyclists have done already. And it okay. went from Alabama straight to Canada. And, you know, I've done some research. I'm just like, man, that wasn't necessarily the only route. You know, people took whatever route they chose. They thought was north. So this is the route that I chose personally. So I just reference Underground Railroad with the issues that are going on in today's society and just wanting to find my sense of freedom. So this is why I kind of chose that route in particular. Well, um, thank you for uh, putting us on to this. Um, you guys are also raising some money too to help with this documentary. Um, is that, am I understanding yeah, correctly? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's just so much that we've got to, you know, kind of do to put together for this documentary. Um, and also like what we said, like we've really got to think about how we're going to do this really safely. Um, so yeah, as much support as we can get, we really appreciate it. There's a GoFundMe link on our Instagram, on our website. So please check that out. Please come support. Mm-hmm. Like these guys are gonna do it regardless. Rain, we just want to be able to capture it. <laughs> yeah. we're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. happen. Well, this yeah. will be like that scene in Forrest Gump. You know what I mean? Where he's like <laughs> running cross country. And then <laughs> mad right. people just join up with y'all. Hopefully that's what <laughs> right, y'all, the right, look y'all right, get, yeah. man. Like, yeah. yeah, suppose I have a lot of friends coming to join me in certain sections. We'll see. Um, yeah. I'm not. I'm not upset if they don't. I'm. It'd be really cool if they do. You know, just looking forward to just meeting as, as many new people as I can. Yeah. And it's mostly inspiring people, you know, in this inner city who, you know, who just haven't had an opportunity like me to get on a bike. You know, I'm just trying to express to them like if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. and we're gonna end up in DC um, on Indigenous Peoples Day, so that's gonna be. It's my Huge, yeah. yeah. That's where Bobby's from. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. What's your average speed you plan to go on this? Are you are you gonna do anything intense or is it all chilling? <laughs> we got a long journey. We chilling, dude. It's gonna right. be a long, long journey. So we might push like you know fifteen, twenty, averaging. You know, but right. That's, that's intense. And that. when you get in yourself. those those Appalachians, are gonna beat you up. Those hills. Uh, I don't. I think we go. Around, I think we go around it. I don't think we go through. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't think we go through. Well, yeah, because I was gonna say those hills. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, it's oh, real. It's, it's gonna be intense. It's real. Y'all well, have the Underground Railroad ride. Look for them um, on Instagram so you can figure out everything going on. If you're into cycling like I am, um, I feel like this is a it's a major moment. Um, and you know. Uh, I don't know about you, Bobby, but Fizz, when you get on that bike and you get out there and you're out in the open, 
and your mind, you feel your mind like get clear and you're breathing yeah. and everything just kind of like your whole body opens up. It's an amazing feeling. Or I mean, yeah. like a lot of people don't understand that that's that's like freedom right there. Just being in the house and open by yourself or with your best friends is just riding. Right, and it's just, you have like your mind and your body, you know. Like I tell people all the time, cycling is eighty percent mental, yeah, twenty yep. percent physical. Yeah. So if your mind's not right and clear, like you're gonna tell yourself you can't do it, you can't do it. So it's literally a mental thing. For sure. So this is gonna be a mental. Yeah, game come out and join us, man. Yeah, we've yeah, we got the stops. Come and join us. I got well. See, here's the deal. I'm mm. a parent. So, you know, wow. just leaving the family for multiple days and be like, yo, I'm going to ride my bike. That's not going to fly in the house. I know. I know. <laughs> and, now, and I'm eight months pregnant, so I don't think I could do uh. Yes, yes. But uh, everybody, please hit up the GoFundMe. They, just look for Underground Railroad Ride 2020. Hit up the GoFundMe because every dollar counts to support this great project. Yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you guys, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you again soon. Take care, okay? Yeah. Be safe out there. Thank you. Take care. All right, take, take care, care guys. guys. Good luck.